Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video I will show you how to make a very simple t-shirt made with scarfy yarn. In this video I will be using the instructions for size S, but you can find all the other sizes up to size 5XL on my website. I will put the link in the description below. If you're new to my channel, my name is Wilma and I share free crochet patterns on my blog and YouTube channel. If you like this type of videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button. This way you will get notifications when I upload new patterns. For this t-shirt you will need scarfy yarn and crochet hook size 10mm. This t-shirt is worked side to side and we will start working on the sleeve. So we chain 13 and turn our work. Row 1 we will start working in the 4th chain from the hook and we will make 1 double crochet stitch Chain 2 1 double crochet stitch Then we skip 2 chains and work 1 double crochet stitch Chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch in the next chain. Repeat this across and turn your work at the end of the row. You now have a total of 4 chain spaces. Row 2 till 6, we will chain 3 and work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch in each chain space across. Turn your work at the end of the row. I'll see you at the end of row 6. Row 7, we will chain 3. Work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch in each chain space across. And instead of turning our work, we will now chain 27. And continue with row 8. In row 8, we will work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch in the 4th chain from the hook. Then we skip 2 chains and work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch in the next chain. Repeat this in each chain space across. When you're halfway, you will skip the last two chains and work one double crochet stitch, chain two, one double crochet stitch in each chain space across. Turn your work at the end of the row. You 
you will now have a total of 12 chain spaces. Row 9, we will chain 3 and work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch in each chain space across. Turn your work at the end of each row. Repeat row 9 till row 24 and I will see you there. I just finished row 24 and I'm now going to work on the second sleeve. Row 25 you will chain 3 and work 1 double crochet stitch, chain 2, 1 double crochet stitch in the next 4 chain spaces. So we only work in 4 chain spaces and then turn our work. We will repeat row 25 6 more times, so the next 6 rows we will only work 4 chain spaces and turn our work. I will see you at the end when I finish the second sleeve. So we just finished the front panel and all we need to do now is repeat row 1 till 31 for the back panel. So go ahead and repeat all the steps again till you have two panels. When you finish the second panel it's time to sew them together. Lie both panels on top of each other and sew your panels along the edge of the body. Begin at the bottom working your way up, continuing past the underarm. Now repeat on the other side. We now need to close the shoulders and it's easier if you use two stitch markers to mark the neckline. And for a size S it should be 9 inches wide. Two from one sleeve end up to the stitch marker and repeat this on the other side. Now fold the t-shirt inside out and you're done! I hope you guys liked this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments which colors you are going to use. Hope to see you next time, bye!